Hello everybody and welcome back to the Minecraft Guide episode 17. Today is a very very important episode. Today we are going to be hunting down and finding the stronghold. And as promised in the previous episode, I have now got a sharpness 5, looting 3, unbreaking 3, amazing diamond sword. And I have also got a power 5 bug, which is yeah pretty good. So uh, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna shove all of these resources into here. Yeah, I might never force to get um uh, to gain said resources. And what we're gonna, now we're gonna do, we're gonna go out and we're gonna find a blaze corner because we need blaze because we need we need blaze to get blaze rods to get blaze rod. No, sorry, to get. To get eyes of ender, we need blaze powder. To get blaze powder, we need blaze rods. To get blaze rods, we need blaze. Whew, yeah, that was a complicated sentence. So yeah, ultimately, I mean, I did when I was mining that nether quartz just then. I did actually, I did a little bit of exploration, and I know for a fact that there is a um, uh, what do you call it over there? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's a guest up there. You, my friend, my friend. My. So, my friend. Thank you. Yes, up there. So, we will. So, I will see you guys when I'm over by, in a, by a blaze spawner. Right, so everybody, we now have one blaze rod. But. Yeah, we need, I think you need like seven or eight, so, yeah, we, we need some more, so I will see you guys after I have got some more. But bearing in mind, I didn't actually find a spawner, there were just a couple just flying around over there, Ooh, diamond. Um, so, yeah, I do really need to find a spawner, so I will back when I have found a spawner which I might actually have found one up here. Yes I have. Okay, yeah, please don't mind. Okay, yeah. I don't know if this is like a double nether or something. But because uh, it really the path is really good on the over. Right, uh you get out of here and Uh you there we go. Uh, yeah, I should probably eat some food and heal up. Right, so guys, yeah, I will see you guys when I have the correct amount of blaze rods. Right, so everybody, I may or may not have died in lava at the end there. But, yeah, we, we've got 22 blaze rods, which is the perfect amount. So now all we need is endermen, and for, to get endermen, we, no, now all we need is enderpearls, and to get enderpearls, we need endermen. To get endermen, we need to wait for it to be night. So I guess I'm just going to wait for it to be night, and wait for them to spawn in. And then it really, really does help if you have looting three, because I got them in like two minutes, those blaze rods, because I got looting. So I will see you guys when I correct number of enderpearls. So everybody, we have got 15 enderpearls and you need 12 to fill in the like, the end portal thing. So this is pretty good. So what you very simply need to do, you need to make blaze powder. We need to make, um, we'll make like all of that into that. Then we need to make eyes of ender. These things are what you need to use to go in where well, yep you can make ender chests and um, theme of bubbles with them uh, by theme of bubbles i mean end crystals with them so then so now basically all you want to do is you just want to determine where which way you predict that your end that your end and eye of ender will go so for example i'm predicting that it will go probably that way but I'm not sure. Take your guesses down in the comments. Comment one, two, three, or four. And then either comment like 3.5 if you think it's going to go over there. Right, but first and foremost, I'm going to get a horse because this could be a long, long journey. So let's just get a horse quickly. Da -da 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 -da. So we need our saddle and some armor. What have we got? Where's our armor? There's a saddle and there's our diamond armor. Well, our diamond horse armor, sorry. And then there we go. Right, so then where's a horse? 
Let's see, there's definitely horses up here, I know that for certain. Let's have a look and see which one of these. See if one of these is fast. So, that's it goes. Yeah, all you need to do is just right click on the horse until it doesn't throw you off, like so. You need to have an empty hand, though, I learned that the hard way. Yeah, slightly embarrassing, but oh well. No, come on, love me. Yeah, this may take a little while, so I'll see you guys once I've tamed it. So guys, yeah, we have now officially tamed it. So what we um, we got the achievement saying best friends forever, which is tame an animal. And then all you want to do, you want to press E to open its inventory, then simply equip its saddle, equip its horse armor, and then you can ride away. And this is actually quite a fast horse. Wow, this is wow, this is really fast. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, so at least it's faster than regular sprinting, I think. Good, right. So what we're now going to do, we're in a nice open area. Let's throw the eye vendor. Where did it go? Oh, over this way. Now, they do have a chance to break. Luckily, neither of them did break this time. So then what you simply want to do, once you just know the direction that your eye vendor went, you just want to go basically for miles upon miles this way you want to go like probably 200 to 100 blocks this way until and then until you throw your next one so yeah horses aren't really good through the water that is the only thing yeah come on then, mate. get through the water come up there we go Go on then, mate. So you probably don't want to throw them next to cactus because if they land, if they fall on top of a cactus, then that's probably not the best thing in the world. But hey, we won't throw any more. We won't throw any near cactuses. I'm not going to be able to jump out over that, am I? Right. This one. Da -da -da -da. Horses are like really, really good in Minecraft. I really should use them more often. I don't use them very often. I really should use them more. Whoa, we don't want to go down there. Don't want to go down that ravine. Right, so, excuse me, my friend. I need to throw another eye vendor. It, it's still gone this way. So, we want to go this way. We will pick it up, hopefully. Hopefully. Thank you. Thank you. And then we will continue to go this way. Uh, hopefully it's not going to be across the ocean. That wouldn't be very good because then we would have to leave our horse. But you now I haven't seen any strongholds underneath the ocean when I've been travelling the ocean. So you know, let's just continue to go this way. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Get up there. Oh, come on, then you stupid horse. Right, so then let's go along this way. Da, 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 da. Up we go. Over here. Come on there, my friend. Go on. Da, 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 da. Then, yes, yeah, so you want to run like another 100 blocks again before throwing it if it doesn't. Basically, until it goes backwards is when you want to stop throwing it. There, my friend, go on. Right, so uh, I probably shouldn't have gone through this pool. Oh, well. right. Go on, go on, then, my friend, go on. Right, so let's go on this way. And I guess we'll just, just mount here. This is quite a nice open area. So, again, it goes this way still. It doesn't normally lag like that, that's weird how that's lagging, but oh well. There we go, right, and then let's get back on, and then let's get back to going this way. Go on, then, my friend, go on. Da -da -da -da. Keep on going. Alright, so guys, yeah, I'll see you when we're at the stronghold, basically. Well, when the eye vendor goes backwards. Oh, everybody, the eye vendor just went backwards, and it broke. Wow, great. Right, so. 
we know that it's this way then. So, let's get back this way. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, this is really exciting. So what we're just going to do, we're going to explore the stronghold and then we're just going to very simply find the thing and then we'll just, um, we're going to find the watching the portal room and then we will just, um, yeah. Where does it go? It still goes this way. Wow. Same from you, right, and then get back on you. Right, so guys, I'll see you when the eye vendor starts going downwards, which is when you know that it's at the correct um, location. Right, so everybody, what we're going to do, we're going to just dig down just here, because my estimates say that this is probably about where the stronghold should be, he says, with his fingers crossed. So, I don't know how far down it's going to be, but it should definitely be down here. There you go. Then we'll just break in. And I really should have brought some torches with me. Oh well. Right, so. Wait, did I bring torches? Yes, I did apparently in this boss, and I think I am. <laughs> right. So, then let's just place a torch, and then another torch, and then let's just take some of these torches, and just here, let's mark off this way, and there's no bus in here, great, okay, we'll just break down the door, and then, yeah, it could spawn anywhere, by the way, just to let you know, like, they're just like cells almost in a way, Slightly strange, so you just sort of just want to explore it until you find it, basically. Right, so then let's see what's down here then. And that's just dead end, great. These things can be like absolute mazes, so just be careful whilst exploring them. Right, that way's a complete dead end. Right, so mark this as being done, we will just simply place blocks there, so that way I can explore, it is done, there is nothing that way. Right, and let's see what's down here, nothing, okay, that's all been done, this all just loops round, okay, let's see what else is down here. Nope, okay, so that's a dead end as well. Okay, well then let's just mark you, being all done. And let's go back up to the top here. And... Where are we? Is there a cross? Where's the crossroads? The crossroad is somewhere around here. Yeah, it's here. So, we can now mark that as officially confirming there is nothing, there is no loot or anything down there. So then let's have a look down here. Ooh, a library. This is very good. Thank you. Right, so, there should be... There's definitely two chests in here, there's one of them. Loyalty 3 and Quick Charge 1. Luck of the C3 Aqua Infinity. Okay, not the best in the world, but we will certainly take it. Right, so there should be an upstairs to this place, if memory serves correct. Oh wait, there's something out there. Right, and let's break that, and then let's get up here. Oh no, there's lava there. Okay, right, yeah, you, and you, and then you, thank you very much. Okay, yeah, we'll probably best off each other up. Right, that's a lot of lava. Okay, well I guess this is like, this is the upstairs to the library. Unless it was in this chest. Uh, luck of the C2 Law 2. Okay, that's not bad. Let's get all those books. There we go. Yeah, this is a bit of a cursed room because, yeah, this then definitely not supposed to be like this, but hey. Oh well. Right, so then, yeah, that's all like that. Let's see what's up here then. Uh, uh, there we go. Yeah, well, that means through there. Is there anything in particular? Oh, I don't know. Okay, 
this one, and then, yeah, okay, let's move that in. What about this guy? And then we, wow, this just loops back around, okay. Well, that's interesting. I guess we better just have a quick look behind this and see what's down here. Uh, seems to be light, which could potentially be a promising sign, or is that just gold from that lava? Okay. Disappointing. Um, let's see then, what else is here? Uh, well, that's just a cave system. Okay, loot chest, bit of redstone, okay, not bad, an iron ingot, could definitely be better, but I'll pass. Yeah, this really hasn't been ranked very well, has it? Uh, well, that way it looks like we've been through because of this torch through there. Hmm. Okay, right, well, let's go for the old pillar over the source here. And underneath. And I guess we can go this way. And let's see, is there anything down here? Or is this just gonna be our oh, kind of failure? Okay, that's just a dead end. <sighs> through there, it looks like we've already been through there. So, yeah, this all looks to be done. Yeah, this has been slightly disappointing. I think, overall, I think we can just say that all of that is done. Yeah, disappointing, but, oh well. Right, and let's have a look at through here. Okay, that just all loops back around. Let's just fill some of that in. Right, then. Mm, might be down there. This we won't go down there as of yet, though. Let's have a look at through here first. Let's see, where does this go to? This just leads to another one of these. Okay, yeah. And then that's more of that. Let's just light up some of that. Oh wow, this is rather large. And these run out of torches. Great. Oh, an enderpearl. Some bread. Okay. There it is. Top quality. Now you can leave the silver fish spawner if you want to. But I mean if you want to make a silver fish silver fish farm. But they don't really provide very much, so I don't really know why you would want to do that, but hey. So I guess let's just place our bed down here so that we will respawn here when we die. But this is like part one of three of end busting, so I think yeah, I think that's gonna probably do for this video. I should probably have got some wood so that I could empty out some of my inventory. Oh well, and I do actually need a torch because I need because that's required for the dragon egg at the end. So if I just steal you, I'm gonna need you. Please don't blow up, you creepers. Thank you. Yep, okay. Right, so, so if you are playing on the seed, I'm sure you probably want to see the coordinates. They are the coordinates. If you wanted to see them, well, there they are. If you don't want to see them, then the fuck you saw them. So I think that's it for this episode of End Busting Part 1. So I would like to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in a brand new video at some point in the future. Bye.